everyone, welcome back to the 2013 Final Fantasy Tactics 1.3 AI Tournament. This is going to be video 3 of the Fovelham Division. Um, our first matchup is going to be between the newbies, which is run by Silent Caster. They will be in green. And then... Uh, the Orvon Covenant, who will be in blue, and they are run by Zodiac Blade. Uh, just a quick look at the units. For Team Newbies, we have Dancing Queen the Dancer, Captain Planet the Monk, Heartbreaker the Marksman, and Magic Lady the Oracle. For the Orban Covenant, we have Hanzao the Ninja, Sarah the Oracle, Victoria the Summoner, and Link the Marksman. Um, just a few notes. Uh, oops. A few notes. The Summoner and the Oracle have worse compat. The Oracle here and the Dancer have worse compat, but the Dancer has best compat with this Ninja. So, yeah, we'll see see how that plays out. They're both running pretty much the Capricorn, uh, Capricorn, Virgo, and then uh, Pisces and Scorpio. So, really a lot of good compats across the board, so I'm not going to bother noting them, just best and worst. So, uh, we'll get right into it for... Map 1, we're going to go to 103, which is the Windmill Shed. And once again, we have uh, Newbies in green and Orban coming in in blue. Once again, this is more of a medium map, but it's, it's what I have. Uh, the maps will actually be uh, predetermined in the next... Uh, next round, so, um, got some dancing starting, and, uh, a quick stop proc on the ninja from the monk, so, that will actually, uh, give a little bit of time for the rest of his units to catch up without him getting too far ahead, but, early on, nothing much doing, uh, a cure coming on, chain lightning will hit, Three of her units as well. Then a counter flood, no stop proc though. And then witch hunt to decrease some MP. Uh, which really the summoner and the oracle both get hit by it, so that that can be fairly critical. Uh, stop cured with Asuna, and her slash takes out the monk. Another witch hunt to deplete more MP. And then she tries to steal heart for the ninja, but it misses, so the ninja is still on uh, on good terms with his teammates. And a shocker to heal up, and then run away. So really he accumulated 137, uh, the proc from the wind slash bow. Ninja is down, so it's a 4 on 3 now, uh, but the res coming from the Oracle, um, and now there isn't a Witch Hunt going on, so the res didn't have time to go off, and Odin hitting both the Archer and the Oracle, Archer is down, and our Steel Heart misses, so once again, uh, I'll uh, bad luck with the RNG, so the ninja was able to uh, use a double attack on the oracle, take her out, archer res, and then sandbag, anti-sandbag, so he won't be able to heal the oracle, and revive, because of its height tolerance, won't be able to revive the oracle, so really the only one able to revive that oracle is the archer, or the marksman, and while the marksman is down, obviously he can't do that. 144 on the Dancer, another Witch Hunt coming. 
but the Salamander will have enough MP to go off, hitting both the Monk and the Dancer, which should be enough to take them both out, and it is, so Team Orban Covenant does take the first match, or first battle of the third match, uh, so we will uh, go to a big map, and I'll see you all back here in a minute. Hey everyone, welcome back to Battle 2 of Match 5 for the Fulham Division. We're at the Underground Bookstore's third floor, uh, which is our large map, and I think this map will have a little advantage to uh, the newbies in green, just because uh, it allows them, allows their dancer to get a few more dances off. Uh, Witch Hunt will complete the uh, MP of the Oracle and the Summoner, which will render them a lot more, a lot less useful in this battle. So here comes the first switch on uh, 16s all around, but uh, that that is uh, the amount can deplete faster. Uh, another one right up, right after the damage from the ninja. So the archer's already without MP, but that doesn't really matter for him because he doesn't really accumulate a, a charm on the ninja, which she wasn't able to land last time. That that's bigger. Uh, the Earth Slash is... And uh, HP Restore goes off for the Dancer, so that actually was a beneficial Earth Slash all around. However, it does knock the Ninja out of Charm. Uh, Petrify being charged up on him. He takes the time to Chakra. Uh, to heal himself up, so no damage from him. And a Petrify does go off, so the Oracle is going to waste her time. Uh, actually, she does not go for the Asuna. Um, for the Petrified. Salamander hitting both the Dancer and the Monk. Counter Flood with the Donax, so the Oracle never gets off her, probably her Paralyze. A Charm on the Marksman hits, so now it's just down to really the two female units. And Earth Slash puts uh, the Summoner into Critical, which she gets out of with auto potion, but she is still low on HP. Nerf Petrify going off on the Oracle. Hits, so that is now two units petrified, and they do not have any way to uh, cure that petrification. Uh, the charm takes out the summoner, so now it is down to just the charmed marksman. Uh, so, Poka Poka uh, starting to remove his. Uh, his PA. Chakra heals up the monk, and they're not really afraid of the marksman. Uh, 168 with the 40 proc, so that's 208 damage, so he's now under 100 uh, HP left. Uh, Petrify being charged. 49% hits, so three petrified units and one downed unit secures that for Team Newbie. So we will be going to a medium map for, map th for Battle 3. everyone, welcome to Battle 3 of uh, Match 5 in the Clevelham Division. This is taking place at Talon Fort City. This is uh, where we meet Mustadio for the first time. Uh, considered a medium map, so I think uh, I think this map, the way it's laid out right now, does favor Silent Caster a little bit because he gets the early height advantage with the rooftops. The marksman does miss early on, and an early petrify charge on the ninja. Uh, petrify on the oracle, so we're gonna have back to back petrifies going off. A witch hunt for uh, 16 MP across the board. Uh, not enough to really detriment any of the spell usage for the team, though. Ninja goes ahead and takes out the marksman, and petrify goes off and hits the ninja, so the ninja is hunting him back out. Noting going off, and does 82 damage to the Oracle, who will be uh, shortly having a Petrify charge on her, which does hit as well. So now each team has a Petrified unit, and uh, Team Newbies is without their Marksman as well, uh, going down to the Ninja. Another Witch Hunt, hitting the three units. Um, but there's still enough MP to go around. Dancer 
getting a pull whack for 120. And a, I believe, a salamander charge going on the monk. And probably, uh, oh, Mjolnir. So, uh, really critical uh, hit for 230. Uh, Counterflood doesn't give a stop proc, so it'll take time to recharge and run away. And Marksman uh, moving up. Nameless Dance, just a poison in the darkness. Uh, the darkness can affect the Marksman a little bit. Uh, another pull whack for 120. And a Mjolnir being charged on the Dancer, which would take her out. Soft on the Ninja, so the Ninja's back, which is bad news. Uh, gusty Wind. No procs, so it's just damage. So it's looking not so good for Team Newbies, who is down to just their ninja. Um, and ninja, or it was, they were down to the monk, and the ninja takes the monk out. So uh, that will do it. Team Orvon Covenant will take the match two to one. Good game, and we'll see you all for the next match. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Final Fantasy Tactics. 1.3 AI tournament. We are now in match six of the Fulham division. This is going to be Gold Diggers in Black, run by Angel Advent and Heart Hunt, versus Seraphic Dark Fire in Red, run by Anima Zero. Uh, quick look at the units. Uh, for Team Gold Diggers, we have Angel the Taiju, Advent the Sacred, Heart Hunt the Oracle, and Seraph the Mediator. For Team Seraphic Darkfire, we have Captain Rex the Monk, Anima the Mediator, Liette the Oracle, and Minerva the Geomancer. Nothing really big about their uh, compats, uh, just good and bad compats, so uh, pretty standard. Uh, both run some of the Scorpio Pisces uh, Cancer line. Um, for this battle, we're going to go to number 91, the Thief's Fort. And this is where Maluda 1 takes place. So, just looking at the intro, I, I really gotta say, I think Adam is, should have made his team uh, red as a primary, just because I think red is one of the coolest uh, unit color schemes there is. Um, I just think that old red looks really good, so yeah, he should have made it red. <laughs> he gets to be red for this one. Uh, early Berserk on the Taiju. And going for status. Um, for it being against uh, Gold Diggers, who are, already have had two, uh, two matches that have been fairly bad RNG on their part. It's really, it's really bad luck to have to go up against a team that is so uh, reliant on statuses because it just seems like it would almost want to uh, work against gold diggers in this. But uh, the monk is down early on so there's a possibility that Gold Diggers might have a really bad hit. Uh, Slow goes off the Mediator, who covers his barrier, so she is buffed up a little bit. Oracle comes in uh, for a Paralyze. Like, unless I totally misread what that was. Slight whack, but the Demon Fire does take it out. Oh, Confusion. So Confusion does hit the Oracle. So we have a confused oracle, a down monk, and a down taiju so far. Under our heartache strike hits for tone pack. So that mediator will not be doing anything. Confusion, she is casting something on an open panel. Phoenix down on the monk for 16. Now on the Oracle as well, so she will just be doing random uh, 
whack at whatever she can. Leave dance damages all three of them. Threaten. Back misses. And then the Oracle goes for a don't act on the Geomancer. Remedy to cure the confusion, but she is still deserved. And Donak does hit the Geomancer, so. Uh, Suna comes off fast afterwards, so that's really actually kind of entertaining. Um, shake off no Petrify proc, but just put her into critical. And all the statuses wear off of her. Mim Pheromon puts the Oracle to sleep. Geomancer is just critical and will be put down dance. Maybe you're just doing a single fire damage split negates half of that. Not a lot of damage to begin with. Spell absorb from one way to the other. So uh, really playing double duty there. Crippling one oracle. And, uh, and uh, carrying the Taiju, taking out the Monk. So now we are down to a sleeping Berserk Oracle and uh, Mediator, which loves to spam Heartache Strikes. Confusion on the other Mediator. So we'll see what she does. Another Mimic Titan. 140. And he does have a gun, so it won't, it won't be, as much, uh, be as much of an issue. Another move is right in. Kills off that mediator, so we're down to one. Um, and she's berserk, so she won't have any resurrecting uh, capability. Another spell absorb, so she's going to be down to zero MP as it is. And another Mimic Titan. One Mediator, but... Oh, and Mimic Titan also does not damage that one. Gunshot. Or, threatened for don't miss. I mean, don't act, but it doesn't hit. Taiju is still alive, finding his time, not attacking. Deals the crystal. Misses again. And now sleep wears off, so they will start attacking her. 16 damage from the mediator. A light dance. The Taiju for 84. And with a few more hits, that will be the end of this. Staff wire for 40. Nothing doing there. No, don't act there. So, still more wasted. Confusion song does not hit. So, not confused at all. Sleep dance hits for 84, puts her in a critical, and now just. Final hit. Which there it is. So, Dean Gold Diggers, good job. Uh, takes the first ma battle, and I'll see you guys for the second. Hey everyone, welcome back to match six of the Total Hand Division. We are at Delta, which is one of the Deep Dungeon uh, maps. So, being a bigger map, it will take a while, especially with monsters and everything, for the units to reach each other. Uh, especially because units don't have teleport either, so... Uh, the two units who will be able to deal damage should probably... Oh, the two units that the teleport, my, my mistake. But the two units that will be able to deal damage probably the quickest is the two mediators because of their guns. But, uh, we will see how that... Yep, and there's a party going on, and a berserk mediator, so she will be setting off a lot of gun 
shots.
much ignore the horrible rain now. Uh, and we'll go after the mediator. Uh, auto push and totally negates that attack. And it's spell absorb auto. Crippling her even more for when uh, confusion is finally knocked out. Geomancer making her way over to the crystal. Shake off. Triggers HP restore, so he is actually back to health. Mimic Dervon misses for the sleep, so that Sacred has actually been able to avoid mostly all statuses this game. Or this battle, at least. And a threat don't act. does hit this time, so the sacred is don't acted. Surprisingly, the uh, Geomancer stopped progressing towards the crystal. Uh, auto push and triggers again to totally negate all that. So, uh, oddity in uh, AI behavior. Uh, thinking that the Geomancer would actually be going for that crystal to heal up, but she is not. Burning Strike hits and berserks the Sacred. And their auto potion to negate another Staff Whack from the Oracle. Now he won't use Mimic Titan due to uh, being berserk, but he is now slowed. And our Staff Whack and our auto potion. So, still more of the same and. Just a lot of uh, and our donut goes off, so the sacred will wait around even more. It's just a bunch of waiting around, though, uh, because the units have to do something more to start dealing damage, and nothing's happening. Uh, 64 damage right there from the mediator. Damage split for 16. And that actually knocks her out of confusion, so they will actually start attacking the Oracle now. There's 84 from the Taiju. Uh, Geomancer making her way back over, but not sure if she'll actually go towards the crystal. Uh, Staff Whack from 16. Mimic Jarvan will go to sleep, and he is put to sleep, but the Mediator will permanently be trapped there until he is resurrected from the sleep. The Geomancer runs away even more, even further. Oracle curse herself and goes for their confusion, which hits, so now they will ignore her even more. Don't act, which will actually wear off the sleep, so the Oracle will go ahead for another uh, don't act afterwards. Another negated staff whack with auto potion. And it's going to be just a bunch of the same, so we're just going to stay here and enjoy the music for a little bit. Uh, after the damage split knocks her out of confusion, the Leaf Dance actually takes her out, which helps uh, get the battle at least a little bit further along. The Don't Act does wear off as I anticipated, but he is still asleep. The one Don't Act misses, but still being asleep won't do much. Another threat, in, another miss on the Don't Act. And sleep wears off, so he will be uh, able to uh, hit him now. Puts him into critical, and there is no HP restore trigger. Uh, another threat, another bone act misses, so the next move will take out that oracle, so it is just now down to the Geomancer. Sandstorm damage split the Geomancer, so next move, and that is the battle. So, Gold Diggers, you do take. Match six of the Falvahan Division. Good match.